What's up and welcome back to the channel. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to upload a carousel post on LinkedIn. Now, recently, I got a scolding from my client saying that, uh, so I posted the carousel post in a very different manner, which just came as a very shabby uh, thing altogether. However, there is actually a way where you go ahead and convert that particular shabby carousel into a slider, which is going to give a more realistic effect. And plus, if you are wondering how to get more engagement on LinkedIn, Yes, the carousel posts are going to get you more and more engagement on LinkedIn because the user is going to interact with your post. So because I don't want you guys also to get a comment from your clients that please go ahead and learn and then upload things. Let's get quickly started with this particular video. I hope you find this particular video helpful. Let's start. All right, so here we are on the mobile screen. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need is basically a carousel that you have already designed. Now this is something that I have designed for my uh, Instagram uh, put profile all together and I'm gonna go ahead and upload the same thing as an example on my LinkedIn profile uh, another thing basically if you want that slider effect to be there on LinkedIn uh, you need to go ahead and convert this JPEG into a PDF format so for that we're gonna go on smallpdf.com which is going to be all right so here I am on smallpdf.com all you need to do is basically go ahead and choose the format that you are looking for I'm gonna go ahead and select the JPEG to PDF format it's gonna ask you to go ahead and start choosing the files click on that and go ahead to that particular folder where you have your carousel posts ready so the problem only the problem you're, you're gonna face on this particular thing is it doesn't allow you to go ahead and select multiple images at the same time so you'll have to do it one by one and that's how it is a bit annoying so just go down and keep on adding the files again i'm gonna select the same uh, i mean the second image and so on and so forth you can go ahead and select the third and fourth and fifth and sixth and so on and so forth i already have the pdf converted and i already have it downloaded so i'm gonna go ahead and move to my linkedin profile all right, so this is my LinkedIn profile. The first thing you need to go ahead and do is click on the post option and then select on the add document option. It's gonna give you an option to choose a particular file. Just click on choose file and there is this particular PDF that I converted. It's gonna go ahead and get uploaded and it's gonna show you how many pages it is there about. Uh, I mean, it's eight pages and so on and so forth. So you need to go ahead and add a descriptive title to your document. Let's say how to protect your privacy because this post is related to how to protect your privacy. And, uh, and once you have done with that, you can just click on next button now over here now i have a group so i'm gonna go ahead and select anyone over here so that anyone can view my particular post after that you just need to go ahead and add uh, the post copy basically so i'm gonna go ahead and type something all right so i have went ahead and you know quickly just typed it's 2021 and google has all of your data here are the ways or tips and tricks to protect your privacy and the added the hashtags google chrome browsers privacy online privacy duck, duck, go search engines maybe um and i just added another hashtag called as vpn hashtag vpn so this is how basically it's gonna go and i'm gonna go ahead and click on post the moment i go ahead and click on post it's gonna show you this way wherein you can now go ahead and oh i mean avoid that clutter cluttery thingy altogether which looks very shabby and you can go ahead and slide this particular post and have that content read by your users it's basically going to get you more engagement on your linkedin and this is if you want to go ahead and create linkedin carousels on canva you can go ahead and do that as well i have used smallpdf.com but uh, you can go ahead and either i mean use it your way i hope this video will help you in your social media marketing uh tip or the way you mark to handle the social accounts and um, let me know in the comments how do you find that particular video all right so that was my video about how to post a carousel post or how to upload carousel posts on linkedin i hope you find this video really helpful and i hope it's gonna save you from that comment which we get from the clients please go ahead and learn and so on and so forth anyway if you like the video guys please go ahead and hit the like button and let me know your comments is there a different way altogether that you go ahead and upload carousels on LinkedIn or instead of smallpdf.com, which is the website that you go ahead and use to convert your JPEGs into PDF? I would love to know that. Uh, that's about it from my end for today. I'll be back with another trick, tip, social media marketing related things altogether. 
and uh, see you the next time till then keep geeking watch the channel